Stepping up to the couch, it's Brian, who led the league last season in cracked screens. But with his new athletic case, it looks like that won't be the case. <laughs> Touchdown, Brian! It's Louisiana, the road underdog today, the Raging Cajuns to take on Appalachian State in the first ever Sunbelt Conference Football Championship. To the counteract that early. Regis into the secondary, shakes one man, and that's the book on him as a flag does come in. Mr. Nunez right here. They bring four and drop into coverage. Not good enough though. First down for Louisiana to Jamarcus Bradley, one of our impact players, the big play receiver on a Lafayette, Louisiana. Nunez, quick throw, that's short of the marker. Napper and Holder can get this one down. Kyle Fowl from 37 yards away. And Louisiana is on the board first. Guys, into the FBS. That is unseasonable. Bouncing kickoff to the edge. And Darrington Evans, who took it to the house against Penn State. He's on his way again. Inside the 10 yard line. Darrington Evans dragged down after he nearly did what he did against the Nittany Lions. Because Williams may sop up his touchdown. Williams, goal line. Touchdown, Ax Tate. They run a stunt. Nunez, incomplete. Ocon Godwin was coming from the end position to force that throw early. Pressure coming. Half picks it up. Thomas, oh, nearly intercepted. Gardner might have had a pick six in his hands, and he put it on the ground. The end zone right now, if he just finishes the play, and I think Hennigan moved inside on that hook route right at the last minute, and I think it surprised his quarterback, Zach Thomas. Called it the most important year of his life in 2011. This is going to be about a yard short of the marker because Bradley caught the ball at the 16. His feet were at the 17, ball at the 16. Border down and nine for App State. Thomas, pressure coming. He saw it right in his grill, kept his feet. Can he look back upfield? He's going to walk it out of bounds. From Tay Hayes. Hayes does come down the middle. He got there, couldn't make the sack, and Lewis still upright to the sideline, but he doesn't pick up the first down. Tay Hayes came from the cornerback spot straight up the middle of that line. We broke it up. Half 0 for 2 on third down. Thomas slings it out and incomplete. Sutton had it on his hip but couldn't put it away. Another punt coming for the Mountaineers. Of course. Absolutely. They start together but don't live together because of one of them. On the ground, conservative play call. And Mitchell twisting for a gain of a yard. Okay, what's your call here? I think soggy condition, so I think that's what the head coach Bill Napier is thinking. Foul. On the way, and good. Well, if you take the first field goal on a drug the defender that ended up dragging it to the ground, and it was a fracture, dislocated ankle, and sad to see that young man go down. Colin Reed inside the 35 for an App State first down. Thomas designed run. He's got a world of space. Thomas and so touchdown. Nunez, intercepted, Josh Thomas picked it off. They call him a second defensive coordinator and he read that brilliantly. And the coaches raved about Josh Thomas's football IQ and it's, it's recognition of two things. It's the personnel and it's the formation and Van Jackson was running a slap route and Josh Thomas jumped it. Well for Josh Thomas. 
Zach Thomas, the quarterback, spun down as we go to the studio in Adnan. Darrington Evans one more time. Now you'd at least think about using it to force the punt, right? Yeah, you want to force the punt, but I... Play in second half, and this game is not the time to let up. But App State also very good in second half, guys. Darrington Evans. Big play personified inside the 30 first down. Time for Thomas at App State. Tries to run, Thomas drilled back at the 24, so field goal time for App State, you'd imagine. Yeah, and foot. This would be a season high for Chandler State. It's from 42, and Staten knocks it through. I think he would trade that hat for what Olivia is wearing. I think he might have to give up a hat to be named later. Olivia is so good. Return for Calais. He's had two good ones now. Across the 40-yard line. And they needed that very badly. Regus sidesteps one. Regus inside the 20. He gave Davis Gaither a ride. Yeah, that's not good. Yes. Nunez scores. Andre Rattled off a bunch of wins at the end of 2014 and set themselves up as Louisiana holds the line at the 33 and a half to set up fourth down and one. Play clock winding down to two, and they will run it. And Louisiana gets the stop. Benny Higgins turned on the Jets and drove it back. Mitchell, straight ahead to the 30. Third down and manageable thanks to a 13-yard run for Elijah Mitchell. On third down, it is Mitchell. Inside the 15. Tay Hayes, the corner, had to take him down again on third down today. Lewis design roll, moving the pocket. It's going backward, and he chucks it out of bounds. Chris Willis provided the pressure. Three this time. Foul has three more. So, the turn the NFC East. Eagles are still involved as Thomas chucks it for a first down. Across the 35 to Corey Sutton, the K-State transfer. Thomas climbs a pocket and throws it wide of Sutton. High snap. Staten drives it from 42. He's got it again. Position now of building the program at Louisiana. Nunez feeling the pressure. He launches a ball that's intercepted. Picked off by Tay Hayes. The senior for App State keeps his feet. With brilliance inside the 45. He lost his job to the young man on the other side, Clifton Duck. And in his final home game, back in the lineup, he pays it off. Well, if App State defensively knows that you're going to throw the football, then they're going to try to get pressure. And the pressure on the quarterback leads to this interception by Tay Hayes. It's to the left side of the field. Thomas keeps it. Great choice. Touchdown. As ABC stands for Alpacas Behind Computers here on ESPN. You can watch that Big 12 game over on ABC. And here, Regus stumbles through a tackle into plus territory. Frank. Mitchell running sideways and down. Austin expert bursting through, who's been perfect so far today. And Kyle Fowl makes it an eight-point game. One.
like App has done here under Scott Satterfield and Jerry Moore. Thomas on the roll. Thomas dumps it off. He's got Williams the tailback. Up the sideline, cuts it back in, back outside, just short of the 40. That was there all play long. Thomas just had to have a lane for him. This is not a guaranteed field goal, that's for sure. So Williams at the hash mark as he gets tackled at the 25. Staten's a two-score game in that rain. Staten drives it. It is good. Here at Boone, certainly an up and up coming program regardless. As this one's juggled and caught by Regis. Trey Regis into plus territory, the ball squirted free, and they'll call him down. Quick set, incomplete, they knew it was coming again. Clifton Duck jumped it just like his buddy Hayes did earlier. And a turnover on downs. Beat Louisiana to win the first Sun Belt Championship, 30 to 19.